Hello and welcome to another Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Hankel with Cheeky Scientist. This week's question comes from Shabir Natrasakar. Shabir says, how to decide best career track for me with a PhD, what to focus on? Uh, so how do I decide on the best career track if I have a PhD? Where do I start? What do I focus on? So what we recommend at Cheeky Scientist is you focus on the five major career tracks. So try to find the overall career track that's right for you. And then look at the individual qualities of each position. So we'll start with the career tracks. The five career tracks that we break down uh, the overall field of careers for PhDs in is number one, information aggregation and patents. Okay, now that breaks down into several different sub-career tracks, but includes a variety of job titles, anything from data scientist, medical writer, patent agent, patent examiner. So if you like working with information and data extensively, if you like writing intensive positions, data intensive positions, this career track is right for you. Number two, research and development positions. One that a lot of PhDs have some experience with. You have likely experience with the R in R&D, but not the, the D in R&D, the development side. So learning the development side is a big part of this career track. This might include anything from a research scientist or a research engineer to a project manager uh, within an R&D department. Uh, the third one is sales and marketing. Now you might think sales and marketing, that's not something I want to do, but there's a lot of different job titles within this career track, including application scientist, uh, which is very popular. Um, make sure that you're not forgetting about the last two career tracks, which are clinical and medical affairs. Medical, medical affairs positions, uh, including medical science liaison positions are very popular. Regulatory affairs positions are very popular and also clinical trials project manager. There's lots of different types of individual job titles under that career track. And then finally, business finance and policy. If you like solving classical business problems, if you want to get into business development, uh, if you want to work for a, a nonprofit, or maybe you want to work for a, a government body, that's all in this career track. So this is another career track that can be broken down into many different sub-career tracks. But overall, try to figure out which of those five career tracks is right for you, and then analyze every individual position within those career tracks based on qualities that are important to you. Okay, so this is kind of a two-prong approach to finding the right job positions for you, the ones that you might actually be interested in. So every individual position, you can evaluate with these eight qualities. These are the eight qualities that we recommend uh, PhDs look into when you get to that individual job position phase. First of all, high salary. Is being in the top 10% in terms of salaries the most important thing for you? Believe it or not, this will guide you. Some people really care about getting into one of the highest salaried positions. If you do, it's a great quality to look at in terms of comparing one job position to another. Another quality, travel. How extensively do you need, do you need to or want to travel? Maybe you can only travel 30% of the time. Maybe you have a young family. You need to evaluate that. A lot of PhDs don't think about it. They say, oh, I want to be a medical science liaison, a management consultant. But maybe one of those positions uh, at a certain company requires 70% travel, which is common for MSLs. Sometimes management consultants have to go overseas for six months at a time. It depends, but make sure you're considering it. Do you want to work in an innovative position, innovation or commercial, right? So you want to work closer to the conception of a new product uh, when it's being tested in R&D, quality control, assurance, et cetera, or do you want to work with a product after it's gone to market or when it's in the manufacturing process? Maybe you want to get into marketing communications, right? So innovation to commercialization, it's a spectrum. It's a great quality. There's two, those are two different qualities that you can analyze each position on. Writing intensive positions versus, or, or they can be both at the same time uh, sometimes, writing intensive and data intensive positions. So what kind of information do you like to work with? Do you like to write a lot? If so, maybe a medical writing position, a scientific publication position might be right for you. If you don't, it wouldn't be. Data intensive, do you want to work with data all day long? Do you want to get into an analysis type of position such as data scientist? If so, again, that position might be right for you. And then finally, in-house or remote work. Do you want to work on site most of the time at a company? And this is somewhat related to the, the travel uh, quality, but it's important to know where you're going to be based. Some people can work from home, going back to medical writing positions, certainly technical support uh, positions, application scientist positions. A lot of times you will not be at the office. You might go to an office, 
uh, the office a few times a year, but mostly you'll be working from your home, home office or on the road. So hopefully this gives you somewhere to start. You can get our free career map by going to phdsgethired.com where you can see all of these different career tracks. Uh, you can search for a career map online, Cheeky Scientist Career Map, and find it as well. As always, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.